attention welcome to the part final guru podcast i'm super excited and thank you very much for joining us today we'll be talking about a very sensitive topic which is spiritual tourism now spiritual tourism affects our clubs in a negative way where we find leaders who are spiritual tourists moving from church to church, program to program, event to event, and not investing their time and efforts at their own local church. Spiritual tourism has affected the Adventist youth ministry because leaders have failed to create their own programs at their own local church. Leaders have became people who opt to go to church to church, event to event, and not really sitting down and spending time at their own local church, understanding their challenges, their difficulties, so that they can make a change at their own local church and bring children and grow the spiritual need that is needed at their own respective clubs. And in most cases, leaders who are spiritual tourists are leaders who do not have a vision. Now, as a leader, you need to have a vision. It is impossible to lead without a vision. Whether that vision, you find it from the church. Whether that vision comes from you identifying a need in your own club. Now, once you have a vision, it is much more easier for you to stay focused on the vision and ensuring that you bring that vision to light. But once you do not have a vision, once you do not have a purpose at your own local church, it becomes difficult for you to stay. Hence, where there are events, there are programs outside of your church, you are always leaving, going to attend all programs, wondering what's happening, going from preacher to preacher, pastor to pastor, music group to music group, because you do not have a vision. Now, don't get me wrong. Once you are planning for your own local church plans, you know that you are able to put conference district programs. But the spiritual tourism that I'm talking about today is a spiritual tourism that you neglect your responsibilities as a director, as a leader appointed by the church, and you are busy going everywhere instead of you staying at your local church, creating your own programs, and ensuring that people at your own church are safe. Children are getting the spiritual growth they need, you know, My church elder used to say when we were busy leaving, going from church to church, and it stuck with me till to date. He said to me, out of the churches that you're visiting, out of the people, the friends that you're saying you're going through, how many of them do they come to your church? I'm like, what do you mean? How many of them do they come to my church? And the question that he was asking was very much relevant because I was visiting church to church, program to program. But because I failed to create my own programs, I failed to create my own fun at my own local church, people did not come. So I failed the local church. I failed my local church. And I was busy with my own spiritual tourism. So I think spiritual tourism is something that we need to take note of. It is good to visit. A rule of thumb that I go by is that I'll visit a church once a quarter. I'll visit a friend once a quarter. And that way, it makes life easier. Better yet, if you have a lot of friends, decide on a date once a quarter to meet and you rotate with churches. Because at the end of the day, you have a purpose to serve at your own local church. Don't let spiritual tourism affect you. There are nice programs out there, don't get me wrong. There are beautiful programs that you want to attend. But put your church first. And once you put your church first, I promise you, everything will fall into place. You will feel proud of yourself. When investiture comes, you will feel proud that I followed through during the years where they invited me to go to a certain place. But I knew that I needed to push the curriculum. I needed to push the programs. And you stayed at your local church, ensuring that everything is running in order. You will never regret it. And above all, God will look at you and say thank you. Because you followed through. 
thank you because that child from the community loved the ministry. And instead of you running away from it, instead of you being a tourist, you stayed at your local church, cultivating, ensuring that children understand the ministry. Let us stay at our local churches. Let us build our local churches. Create your own fun. The churches that you visit, where they're having programs, where they're having a lot of things, jam-packed things throughout the year, they're staying at their local churches, ensuring that all is working. You too can create programs. You too can create fun activities for your children so that it can attract others to say, hmm, I can come to this club. Or, hmm, this Sabbath I'm going to this church because this director has followed through to ensuring that the programs are running. May the good Lord bless us as leaders, as directors, as master guys, as senior youth leaders, so that when all is said and done, we may focus on the mandate of heaven. But for now, I say to you, thank you and you are dismissed.